Hi, this is Divi, and today I want to do a quick review of the new Birthday Massacre album, Diamonds, which was released today. Um, the Birthday Massacre has been my favorite band since I was 13 or 14, and um, every time they release a new album or video, it's like the Super Bowl for me. So, <laughs> I've uh, wrote entire books to their albums before. So, I was obviously very excited when Diamonds came out today. The Birthday Massacre's been active since the 90s. Uh, originally, they were a Magica, and there was like a issue with a band already being named that. So, um, their name's The Birthday Massacre, and I know that sounds like some kind of thrash metal, but it's not. It's actually very melodical and um, some of the songs sound like lullabies. So I'm going to go through each song on the album and talk a little bit about it. And uh, I want to go ahead and say the theme of this album, although most of their their albums are all dark topic, topic related, uh, a lot of death, but the way they go about addressing death, like there's been, um, one of the albums was based on like unsolved crime cases, Chibi, the lead singer, who's also an author, um, had been obsessed with. <laughs> so uh, I really liked that album. And there's really not any of their songs I dislike. Also, they're Canadian, so. The first song on the album is Enter. Uh, they start off strong and as usual, the first song on the album kind of sets the tone for the album. And sometimes it picks up where the last album, you know, leaves off. And the last album was Under Your Spell which kind of explored more of the concepts of dark in relationships and dark and light in love and relationships. And with this album, it's a lot more about the dark and light of just life and death and the duality of life and death. Those are some major themes and the finality of it. So um, this song's actually a little dancey. It's one of the more dancey songs on the album. Uh, there wasn't much growling on this album, uh, which is fine with me. I like Chibi's growl voice, but she did have to have, you know, you know, a lot of singers who scream have, you know, vocal cord issues. So, um, and, and this song is more about the nature of life and death. And of course it alternates between the dancey and the sorrowful sound. So... It's, it's a good song. It's not my favorite song on the album, but it's definitely great. The second song is The Sky Will Turn. This was the first single from the album, and um, the lyrics feel to me a lot like they're addressing the unpredictability of death and when it'll happen and how chaotic life actually is. Um... This one's a little bit less danceable, <laughs> and it's got some really good lyrics and uh, doesn't shy away from the overall innate human fashion fascination with death. Why can't I talk today? <laughs> I've been up for a while, but that's my excuse every day. Um, so, The Sky Will Turn, great song. The next song is Diamonds. Um, it has a heavy lullaby feel to it, um, and it seems to be about forgotten things and people, um, and it, you know, addresses the march of time. A lot of this album does address the march of time, um, and, you know, the innate, the innate human fear of not just death, but lack of legacy, and those are two very... They're branches from the same tree, but they're very different. So, um, obviously I'll show some of my favorite lyrics on the screen. The next song on the album is Run, and this song personally reminds me of reaching out for human contact, or even for help, and not receiving it, or alternatively, not being able to provide it, or not providing it. Um, and it's got more simple lyrics than a lot of the songs on the album, but 
I actually really like this one. This has got some of my favorite lyrics on the album so far. Of course, I've only listened to it five times and it came out today, so we'll see. The next song on the album is Flashback and it's my favorite song on the album. Um, it's about feeling the days blend together and becoming increasingly aware of time moving towards death and disenchantment with the existential crisis one is presented with. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite. Uh, it has a very almost suspense type rhythm to it. Uh, it could be used in a horror movie for sure and this will probably be on my top 10 favorite songs of all time list. Uh, lyrically, sound, everything. So Flashback is my favorite on the album right now. The Last Goodbye was the second single off the album and it definitely made me think, okay, this album's going to be more about finality of death. You know, they've addressed loss of innocence a lot. They've addressed um, religion and different ways of viewing death and afterlife. They've addressed um, relationship death, uh, true crime even. Um, and this one's more about the finality, the more worldwide existential type dread so um you know they do the dark themes without being edge lords because they actually the way you have to actually go listen to it to see what i mean but they don't sound depressing or depressed even if they sound sorrowful don't know if that makes sense chibi is really good at alternating between chipper and sorrowful and i really like that about the band the next song on the album is Crush, and um, this one lyrically has a lot of contrasts, and I like that, and it has some good melody in it. I think the song will grow on me after a while, um, but it's not my favorite so far. I do like the way the lyrics contrast so many different things, and it's very abstract in a lot of ways lyrically, so I do like that. The next song on the album is Mirrors, and this one is again about the idea of being born to die, sticking with the theme of the album, again without sounding like edgelords, because they sound uh, not very doom and gloom, but more accepting. Um, and maybe as people grow into adulthood, and I know the members of the Birthday Massacre are like in the early 40s, around there, in that I know Chibi is. Um, you start kind of coming around to the idea of accepting mortality. A lot of adults do. Some of us were forced to as children, but, you know, and this is a more matured album, in my opinion. Uh, I feel like they're, they stick with their themes while also maturing a lot. Like, uh, Walking with Strangers was a lot more of a teenager -y feel um but i really like this song the next song on the album is parallel world this is about the way life sheds innocence um and they had a whole album that kind of addressed that and as well as school and probably in some way government um but with this theme it's definitely about death impending and watching the world go downhill. Um, it's much more about finality than about, you know, oh, my childhood innocence is shredded. It becomes more of all your innocence is shredded, um, which are two very different things, but I should probably get into that in another video. <laughs> um, and that's the last song on the album. I really like all the songs but obviously you know flashback is definitely my favorite i'm hoping they can release some music videos once you know everyone's out of quarantine and if you don't know about the birthday massacre you should definitely go check them out i should have worn my birthday massacre sweater that i've been wearing all day but it got warm 
So anyway, um, I hope everyone's doing all right. And go check out Diamonds by the Birthday Massacre.